alcohol than any of these bottled products. The purified bottled waters always tend to be acidic, so forces your body to deal with uh, more acidity. Um, and then they tend to have a very strong positive electrical charge, and then the theory goes the large molecular cluster size. So they're not very hydrating. Um, they're actually acidic, and they, you know, they have a, a, a very difficult time absorbing in the body. When we uh, do demonstrations, we test a lot of the popular beverages, and what we'll find, we test them for the metrics that we're looking at in the, in the altered water. We test them for pH, and we test them for the electrical properties. And some of the worst beverages out there test-wise are the sodas, which tend always to be between 3 pH and 4 pH, uh, the sports drinks, which are in the same range of, of pH, um, and anything with carbonation or sugar in it basically tends to test very acidic and have a very uh, strong positive electrical charge, which makes it hard to absorb in the body. When we come back, some major companies are starting to put electrically charged water to work in ways that may surprise you. Asthma, sleep tips, and how dark chocolate can affect your blood pressure. All this and more on the American Health Journal's Health News. Read some interesting health stories you won't see every day. Just go to thedoctorshow.com and click on Health News. And now back to Roger Cooper and the American Health Journal. Electrically charged water is turning out to have many more uses than you might imagine. And some major companies are starting to take it mainstream. We're starting to see a real boom in interest from the commercial um, industries out there. I'm a huge fan of the tenant company from Minneapolis for their floor cleaning application. And what they did was they took our technology and created a delivery system for their specific application. Tenant is a 135-year-old company known for manufacturing floor scrubbing machines. Now, Tenant is on the cutting edge replacing chemical cleaning solutions with electrically charged tap water. Mike Schaefer is Tenant's chief technical officer. Industries have typically used chemistry to clean, and they've moved very hard or very directly to reduce the so-called nasty chemicals like nanophenolic thoxylates. Uh, what the electrically converted water does is it leapfrogs that, and instead of using any chemistry, it uses water, converted water, to clean and clean just as well. Once the user cleans the floor, the, the floor is, if it's like on a, a vinyl uh, VCT tile or something like that, it's squeaky clean and dries very quick. If you think about the mechanism for EC water and how it works, uh, you think about the laws of physics of attraction. Opposites attract and like charges repel. Uh, dirt or soils generally have a charge, whether it's positive or negative. And what happens in uh, the EC water process is we start by oxygenating or creating micro bubbles uh, within the water. The water cell passes a powerful electric charge through the restructured water. This creates a steady stream of blended, highly charged acidic and alkaline water. Dirt and soil particles are naturally charged. By charging the tap water, the new technology creates a very strong soil cleaning solution. Once the solution contacts the dirt, the EC water begins attacking, breaking the dirt into small particles, pulling it off the floor surface, and suspending the dirt in the converted water. Approximately 45 seconds after it was created, the cleaning solution restabilizes and reforms naturally into plain H2O. What you end up with in the recovery tank is just plain water and dirt. The process is, is very short duration. Uh, it's, it lasts uh, basically seconds. So we have tap water, we basically convert it, we use it, uh, gets uh, sucked up from the, from the floor uh, into our recovery tank and it's back to tap water, dirty tap water. When we first introduced the EC water process, uh, we ran across a lot of skepticism. Typically, the folks who clean floors have been doing it for years. Uh, and what they've noticed, and they have an idea of what a floor should look like, and then also they measure what the water looks like after they clean the floor. And with a neutral cleaner, they're used to a certain color, amount of dirt uh, on soils in there. 
what the, one of the things that was most surprising to the custodial staffs was how much more dirt was in the recovery tank after they cleaned with EC water. When we developed EC water technology, uh, one of the first things we wanted to do was test it in the marketplace. And we're based in Minnesota, and the Minnesota Timberwolves play at the Target Center, which is just a few miles from us. So one of our test, first test facilities was cleaning the Target Center. And, in fact, it worked so well cleaning the major hallways that they now use it to clean the floor that the NBA team plays on. Pretty much after the first day, I was, I was a real believer in the system. Uh, we did a side-by-side -side test with two machines, one with a, the new technology and one with a different chemical. Uh, when you dump out the machines after all the testing, we ran it side by side, same area. The new technology was about twice as dark as the chemical method. It's definitely cleans. It cleans a lot better than 